Welcome everybody, back to Castlevania. We're in the last part. Uh, I took on death, and also... Really raged quite a bit. Um, now this part should be the clock tower in Dracula, so this will probably be the final part. Hopefully. Um, and I need to get holy water. That is my priority. Is to get holy water. Uh, probably shouldn't have got rid of the cross, and it's gonna bite. It's gonna bite me in the ass. I see why he gave me the axe. Son of a bitch. All right, there's there's no point. Gonna be dealing with the big bats as normal enemies. Ah, great, I don't have long whip. And I'm gonna end up keeping dying and gonna get a game over. I can I can see that. But this is this should be the final level. Oh my god, the bats, the big bats are really annoying, and this one's gonna kill me. Yeah, I, I figured. I figured that one out in a nutshell. I just gotta try and get away from this. I'm gonna get a game over, and then I just gotta start from here. Because, boy, have I been making progress! I saw that coming. Uh, sorry if I'm not talking too much. Um, I guess the only thing I, I can really think about talking would be the other Castlevania games, which I've only ever seen. I've never played. And I guess uh, the anime, which isn't even... Which uh, I think uh, is... Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I know... I know... That is it based off the third game? I'm trying to think of which one it is that you play as uh, Trevor. Because that that's the that's the main Belmont in in that show. Because uh, the third one you play as you can play as three different characters, uh, Trevor, Algard, and I don't remember the one that you play as. Oh great, now if I die I'll end up uh, just coming back here. I'm waiting for that skeleton to just come up here. I know he can jump up here. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to do that. Because he backs away! I can barely get to him. Alright. Now I gotta deal with Fleeman. It's just one thing after another. And if I game over, I gotta go all the way back to the bridge. With the bats. So, getting a death when you get to the clock tower portion ain't the worst thing in the world. Okay, there's something over there. I don't think it's... Just in case it's wall chicken. Um, yeah, that works. Dagger works. Really? You, you put the screen, you put the screen nuke in like uh, such a precarious. Oh, thank God it was a wall chicken. I'm gonna save it. Just because I've made it this far, I probably should have saved it when I walked through the door. But yeah, of course the, of course the screen nuke is in a place where I can't get it. Uh, I've gotta go down. I've gotta go down, not fall down. Okay. 
I still wish I could find some holy water. Oh, that ain't gonna be the case. Man, do I not like them skull bones. Oh, I thought I was gonna get the whip upgrade. Never mind. Why, but the music here reminds me a lot of, um, was it Mega Man 6? I don't know. But the flea men are really gonna be getting on my nerves. I wish I had the watch. Because then at least I could stop time long enough for me to get up these fucking stairs if I don't jump down them and die. Apparent, I really don't like the flea men. They're very annoying. And it just doesn't help that I got a long staircase to walk up and I got to deal with them. Or they can just knock me down to my death. That's that's always viable too. So, just gonna try and make my way through. I'll just die over and over and over again. Because I touch anything, it kills me. I don't think I could have made it over there. Crap that was. Then again, I probably could have just whipped them all going up, but I didn't want to have to stop and whip because they probably would have hit me before I got there. God damn it! I've got the dagger and I need the holy water. Unless it's gonna give me holy water here. Cross, heart, holy water, please. I'm one hit from death, but hopefully it'll just. I'm gonna see if, it just, if it's gonna spawn me back out. If not, I'm gonna save it here and I'm gonna have to really save scum this fucking boss fight. But I really want. Holy water. And it doesn't seem I'm getting my. W I got my wish. Oh, wait, I could probably. Never mind. Alright, Dracula. How'd I dodge that? Okay, I wanna see where this. Okay. Perfect. If it saves, if it puts me out here, I'm fine. Even though I may not have the ammunition to fight him. Eh. Okay, so I think I'm, the game really wants me to use the cross on his first form and the holy water on his second form. But I'm honestly just going to stick with using holy water. I'm gonna stick using my ammunition for holy water on the second form. Oh, I could have ducked that. Oh, god damn. Okay. Oh god. Ooh, I got lucky there. Crap. Okay. I'm not really worried. It's when I get a game over is when I'm gonna. Because it's gonna give me my full it's gonna give me my full whip. So Ah, uh, I guess I'll try and see what how much damage the cross will do. Four. I guess I try anything. Two rash. 
Okay. That doesn't help me too much. God damn it. I don't know where he's gonna spawn. Sometimes he spawns like right on me. I should have ducked. Try it again. This is gonna take a while. I can already I already know. This is gonna take a while. This is the Dracula boss fight, the final boss fight of the game. This is gonna take me a while. Okay. Seriously, I can't duck under that? I can duck under that. I don't know whether I have to duck or I have to jump. I guess that's where I really gotta use the length of my whip. See? Like, I was supposed to jump over that, but I, did, I can't tell. I don't know the pat- I don't know if there is a pattern. If he does one, then does the next, like, right after. So I- t I gotta keep a certain distance. I can't get too close, and I can't be too far. This is how far I gotta be from him. Distance I'm at? Like, if I'm far enough away, is he gonna try and shoot upwards? Or if I'm too close, he'll shoot downwards? I don't know! <sighs> this is this is definitely gonna be the majority of the video, is just me fighting Dracula. If I can get to his second phase, I'll hit the save there and save scum it from there. Because... <laughs> why it gives me Okay, I can do that. Right, I can hit the fireballs. Which, honestly, it's nice that I get hearts from hitting the fireballs, because I need as many as I can get for when I get to the second floor. I can't really talk too much because I'm trying to focus on the boss. Oh, I was turning I was facing the wrong way. I'm making better progress. I'm making better progress. I felt like I actually made some progress. So But I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm not gonna be talking a whole lot during this boss fight. Mainly because I'm just gonna try and focus up. C 
he? I thought he was... I can't tell which one he's gonna do. And then that kills me! There's no way to... There's no way to tell. Or at least I don't know how to tell what attack he's gonna do. And I don't want to use the cross, because I want to save my hearts with holy water. I'm tempted, I'm really tempted to try and save scum this, but I don't want to screw myself up. I could at least probably save it just before the boss fight starts to probably save me some time having to walk up the stairs over and over and over again. Right here. I could probably save it. I get why I am given the cross at this point. So that way, like, I have a projectile to hit him when he's too far away with. That's the idea. Like I said, he's got a second form. I'm just gonna load up right there, because he's constantly spawning right on me, and I keep getting hit by it. saving myself the time. I can get two hits there. I get hit there, so... When he does that, I really need to try and hit those fireballs. <sighs> no, just keep going. I hate when he spawns right on top of me. Or at least I'm standing where he's gonna spawn. Feels like I'm not- I can't get out of the frickin' way before he pops in. But I guess another thing is that I probably really just need to keep on the move. take a very long time, people, so buckle up, But because I'm going to keep probably all of this in. So far, I haven't gotten hit yet. I'm going to try and do this, this now. Because this is probably the most legit way I'm going to be able to beat this son of a bitch. Yeah, because I'm already getting my ass handed to me. Yeah, 
There it is. I don't want to lose all this progress for nothing. Especially when I have the means to. <laughs> ah! Just as I feel good. I just have to hit him two more fucking times. Because I'm only doing like one little tick of damage on him every time I hit him. Probably get two hits in if I use the cross. Probably. But I'm not gonna do that. And, uh, I don't know why, but my nose is itching again. I don't know why this is a constant problem for me. This has happened to me in so many other games. That my nose... The, the skin of my nose just gets really irritated and itchy. Oh, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna save because that was some that was some righteous shit right there. That was some pretty righteous shit. Okay. And of course I gotta fuck it up. One more hit and I'm dead. I have to hit him three goddamn times. And I'm not taking that because he fucking spawned right on me. And I am one hit from death. I am one hit from death, so point of no return here, folks. And it doesn't help that I don't have the holy water, and it's right fucking behind him. Yeah, it takes two hits from the whip. God. Oh, I gotta get over here. Okay. Okay. Do or die. I missed. Or did I? Oh, that's why it's his weakness. Because <laughs> it actually does one pip, it still only does one pip of health. But it takes two hits from the whip. That's why it's his weakness. I'm going to fucking save. Because I am nervous, because so far he's not doing anything, and I'm doing a lot of damage to him. And I am one hit from death. And he is really putting me in a corner here. Yeah. I gotta try and get on the other side of him. Yeah, which is really hard when he does... Okay, so he does a big jump. That's when I gotta do it. He's gonna be doing a big jump. Yep. Alright, I, I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do here. Unless he does a short jump. 
big jump, and I didn't make it. Big jump. Okay, he do big jump. I supposed to get on other side. He do little jump. I cannot make it to other side. So in other words, I'm fucked. Because I'm too far away and too slow to be able to make it through. Okay. Yeah, I can't... I can't make it. I can't make it when he does short jumps. And I'm... Okay. I'm gonna save it. Because I'm having a hell of a time trying to get under the freaking big jumps. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, load. Because he's gonna keep shooting fireballs that I need to dodge. Ah, damn it. I thought he was gonna do a big jump. He did not do a big jump. Okay, I gotta remember when I load up, he does a fireball immediately. <laughs> Just so I don't have to keep jumping over a goddamn fireball each time. I am wanting to make sure I win this and not have to go through a bunch of bullshit again. Save! So I don't have to worry about having to do that. Oh crap! Ah! Okay. Ooh! I got all three fireballs at once. Son of a bitch. Dracula, you are a tough son of a bitch. Which makes sense, you're the final boss of the game. I'm in the same situation again. I load up, he does fireball. And I keep wanting to press A to jump. That was my own ignorance. I was looking down the controller. That was also my own ignorance, because I don't know why I thought I was trying to hit him with the whip. I don't know why my brain... My brain auto... My it's because my fucking brain is being really stupid. I'm meaning to hit jump, which is the B button, and I keep hitting the A button, which is attack. Okay, he does fireball. I really need him to do a big jump. He's not doing big jump. I'm about to get hit by that fireball and die. Okay, yeah, and I'm I'm leaving all of this in. I'm leaving all this in, man. Wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. I really wish it was... Why am 
I trying to hit his legs? I saw the hit in the face. And he's not really doing a big jump, so I can't really... I can't run under him. Oh, this is do or die. And it is do! Oh my god. I finally fucking did it! I beat Dracula! <laughs> Even though I had to be a real bitch about it, but I do not care. Achievement unlocked. The curse. The cursed Simon Belmont. Yeah, because the next game is called Simon's Curse. Or Belmont's Revenge. Isn't Belmont's Revenge just a GBA version of this? I'm probably. I'm still gonna play it. It's on the anniversary collection. Ooh, okay. Dracula Christopher. Death, Frankenstein, Mummy, Medusa, Vampire Bat, Hunchback. Oh, the, oh crap, they're called the Flea Men. Fishman, ha, <laughs> Fishman! Armor. Skeletons, Zambino. Wait, what are the zombies? And the hero, Simon Belmont. Played the greatest role in this story. You fucking sure about that? Thank you for playing. <laughs> and it just starts. Uh, it just starts this off again. Which is isn't this kind of like basically like hard mode or something? Um, I'm going to. I don't know if this exits. Okay, yeah. Return to the main menu. That's what I want to do. All right, that does, that takes care of Castlevania. Eventually, I'm gonna be doing Simon's Quest. I guess eventually I'll do Dracula's Curse as well. Super Castlevania, Castlevania: The Adventure, Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge, Bloodlines, and Kid Dracula. Eventually, I gotta do them right now. You fucking crazy or some shit? But probably Simon's Quest is what I'm gonna be doing exactly after, because it's Castlevania 2. But that's gonna do it for the Cas for Castlevania. I more or less enjoyed this. I can see why people love the Castlevania series. I can understand why, especially since Symphony of the Night onwards. Since um, the reason why the type of games where you're in a big 2D open world are called Metroidvanias, because Metroid and Castlevania were the games that sort of created that genre of you're in this big, you're kind of in a bit of an open world, you're in this big open world like map, but you're still on a 2D plane, and you're just running back and forth and everywhere, everything. It is a, it is a little sad that uh, Symphony of the Night's not on this anniversary collection. It would I really hope that um, they would actually make another anniversary collection that actually has more of the Metroid... Castlevania, Castlevania's on it, like Symphony of the Night, or uh, Aria of Sorrow. But I mean, Castlevania is also known for this classic style as well, for like the style of gameplay that like, like the first one. And I get actually Simon's Quest may actually be a bit Metroidvania like, because you're going from town to town collecting Dracula's parts. But uh, I won't get too much into that. Uh, so, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this series. I more or less did. <laughs> I mean, I can't complain too much. It's Castlevania. It's, I, I have to admit, I had some fun playing this, even though I had to save scum most of it, and I was, got really angry at some points. But that's, that's the one, that's the bit, you can say that's the bit of the charm of these old, uh, the friggin' old Castlevania games. And I know I'm gonna be having that feeling when I play through the rest of them. But... That's gonna do it for this. That's gonna do it for this video. Um, thank you all for coming by. If you really enjoyed this, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Uh, if you're new to my channel and like my content, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Uh, put your thoughts down below. Uh, use the comment section, people. Come on, it's there for a reason. And lastly, I hope you all will return 
for the next video. Until then, everybody, have a good day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go for a couple more seconds because I, I really enjoy listening to this.